guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Deb. It's Triple L. It's all about love, life, and living. And I hope you guys got a chance to look at my pistachio pudding. No, it wasn't green slime. It was actually pudding. And it was delicious. So we're going to bring a little something else to you today. We're going to do chili. Hmm. So we're used to doing chili with a hamburger. So my daughter challenged me today to do chili with the turkey meat. So that's what I'm going to use chili with. We also like to credit Aisha Curry because she had a nice recipe with that. We add a little bit more something, something of our own. But we're going to go ahead and use ground turkey today for the chili. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, we've got one pound of ground turkey, one can of kidney beans, a can of chili beans or pinto beans, a can of diced tomatoes, which is optional, tomato paste, red peppers, green peppers, We've got spring onions, we've got red onions, and we also have some garlic. Okay, so we go ahead and we start off with just browning our turkey meat, the same way we do with hamburger meat. I have a little olive oil, olive oil excuse me, in the bottom of the um, pot here. And it's a deep pot, of course. It's not one of the Dutch oven pots like Asia Carey, but you know, we do what we do. So anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this browned up some for you. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit more. Okay, guys, now that the turkey meat has started to cook, I did taste it after that uh, cooked some, and I'm gonna remove it. So I did add, so add a little sage to it because it seemed like it was like, um. It just needed just a little bit more pop. I didn't put much sage, but just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, guys, for a minute. Okay, I removed my turkey meat. I'm going to put that back in last, okay? We've already cooked that. I kept the juices in the pot. I'm going to go ahead and add the onions in. No, we're not going to put those garlics in yet because you don't take no time for them to cook. They start to burn pretty quick. So I'm going to add my onions in here. Alrighty, let's get this stirred up a little bit. I'm trying to heat up just a little tad bit there. Okay, now that I've got my onions in, I'm going to add a little salt and a little pepper to that. I have a little sea salt here too. And I got a little pepper. I've got a little ground pepper here. I'm gonna put some of that on there. If I can get the top off right. Let's stir some of that up. I'm just gonna stir this some more. Mm, start to smell some of that flavor popping in there. Guys, this is going to be like one minute, okay? Okay, so this has been cooking for about maybe a minute. That's all it really needs. But remember, we're going to add our peppers and stuff too, and then our garlic. So we don't want it to overcook or cook too fast. So let's go ahead and put our peppers. And I have green peppers and red peppers, guys. Okay. Stir that in some. This is going to be popping with flavor though, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit more pepper. I know, the other one was ground pepper. This is just my regular pepper there. And a little bit more salt. And of course we're going to taste it too, just make sure we don't need any more um, of the salt and pepper. You know, once we start to let it simmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, don't take that long to garlic it. Yeah, stir that up a little bit. I did add a little bit more olive oil too. Yeah, especially when it seemed like the uh, pan was um, getting a little dry. I added a tad bit more of the olive oil. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning in. I'm gonna put about maybe a little quarter teaspoon of little cumin. I'm just put that in that scope. Measure it by that eye. <laughs> I got a little oregano here. Teaspoon, yeah, 
And we're gonna taste this, guys, too, and see what it tastes like. So we're gonna put less. Less is better. Remember, you can always add more. The chili powder. The seam is hitting it. Yeah, it's looking to flake away. All right. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of accent just to enhance the flavor. Let's get this stirred up here. Okay. Okay, it's got the grind in the bottom of it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put our meat back in here. Okay. All right, guys. Let's put our meat back in. Okay, we put our meat back in here. Yeah, it's ready. It's starting to stick a little bit. Just a tad bit, not tearing up. Just, you know, a little bit there. Put our meat in here. That back in. We've been letting it cool. Okay. Go ahead and add our beans to it. And we did drain the beans. Okay. Okay. Do a little bit of the pinto. Tomato paste. Right, everything's going in now. Oh, plop, plop, plop. Okay, let's get some of this stirred up, guys, too, okay? Yeah. And I've got a little bit of broth. So I have a little bit of chicken broth, guys. I have a little bit more of a soup. Some people might want to do a little flour paste or something, but I want to do a little chicken broth with this just to give it a little bit of, a little bit more soup. Okay, and put a little broth in it. And this is something else that I usually add to is a little broth. This wasn't part of the recipe. And that's probably about maybe a cup of it there. Okay, we're just going to stir it in. And you may need to add more once it starts to simmer. And don't forget, we need to do a little taste so we can know whether or not you need a little bit more salt and pepper. Okay. Well, guys, if you look over in here too, you can see the beans and the meat and the peppers. All that. Okay. All right, we're going to add a little bit more juices to it. So I'm going to have a little juice to it where you can probably slap it if you want to. <laughs> and we're going to taste it too. So, Okay, guys, so I end up using almost two cups of the chicken broth because we decided not only do we need a little bit more soup, but we was going to add a little frozen corn. Not the whole bag, but some corn in there. Okay. Right. And I thought we had probably too many peppers, but no. I think everything may look kind of evenly here. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I am going to add some of the tomatoes to it. I didn't put it in there. And you guys let them go and do this, and you forgot to tell me. Well, anyway. And also, since I added the cold, the frozen on corn, I have, I've got to crank it up to a boil and then turn it back down to simmer. So we need to crank it up anyway. So let's go ahead and add some of my tomatoes. Remember I said it was optional. I know, I know. But I know somebody who loves tomatoes. And they was like, you didn't add your tomatoes. So they mentioned it to me, but I forgot. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of tomatoes in here. Just going to put a little bit in here. Actually, the tomatoes look pretty good, guys. I'm going to put a little tomatoes in here. I don't know we always forget something sometimes but we caught it though okay now i'm gonna crank it up i'm gonna let it boil for about maybe five minutes okay then i'm gonna turn it down to simmer for about 20 25 minutes all right boil up if you're gonna add some more uh frozen vegetable to it which i did the corn and then turn down after that all right now we're gonna see you back in just a few minutes all right let's do it again guys All right, guys, I think it's ready. And there we have it. 
We've got chili. We did good together today, guys. Look at that. We've got the ground turkey chili. Let's go ahead and see what it tastes like, too. All right, Aisha, you got a little something going on here, girl? All right, lady, remember, if you want to send that little Dutch oven, we'll be more than happy to use it. Now, if you want to use a little bit more of the, um, uh, either... Um, the chicken stock or the vegetable um, chicken, the vegetable stock, you can if you want a little bit more juice in it. Uh, if you want a little bit more juice in it, that's fine. And remember, I did a little tasting, you know, in between times. Remember, I went up because I added the um, the frozen corn, so I had to go back and put a boil in it again. Sometimes I, um, I also think, too, that she had where she added a little maple syrup in it. I don't know. I've never really did the maple syrup, but like I said, it's, everything is up to you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and let's add a little cheese to it. Oh, yeah. Put a little cheese on the top in there. Pow. All right, guys. I'm going to see you in one sec. And voila. And there you go, guys. It's a little hot, dog. My cheese is melting real fast. So remember, this was a recipe that we did put a twist on that belonged to somebody else. Uh, like I said, my daughter got it uh, from an Aisha Carey uh, recipe. We did the ground turkey instead of the hamburger meat. And uh, actually, it's pretty fantastic. We tasted along the way. Uh, we didn't add all the ingredients. Uh, we just put some of our ingredients in there as we went along. And uh, yeah, uh, we, I've tasted it already. It was pretty good. But this time, I'm going to taste it with my cheese on. And I add a little cornbread for y'all. Okay, dokie. As my girlfriend used to always say, you put a lot more of this in there and a little bit more of that in there and make it stretch out. So that's what we did. So we have a nice pot over there. Okay, guys. Oh, that's hot. You see the steam? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-